My name's Jane Souter, I'm an art advisor and I live between London and Gloucestershire, spending a lot of time out here in the country. I set up Found Art in 1999 and I help a variety of clients to buy and sell contemporary works of art. The best advice I've ever heard about starting collecting is the key education plays. Education and increasing your knowledge is of fundamental worth. It's, it's of utmost importance. The more you familiarize yourself with various styles and movements in art, the better you know what you want to acquire yourself. Um, I must say, I'm not artistic. I can't draw, I can't paint, I can't sculpt. It's, it's about having a good understanding of art history in its entirety, especially from the 1890s onwards. Then you can really um, place what you're viewing within the context, within the canon of art history, and work out whether it's a style that you really like. Wherever you are in the world, you can seek out art and you can encounter it in the most unexpected places. I'm lucky enough to live near one great contemporary artist, Dan Chadwick, who lives at Lippiet House. Whenever I can, I come to see his latest work juxtaposed so stunningly alongside that of his late father, Lynn Chadwick, who in turn was one of Britain's greatest sculptors. Here in my Gloucestershire home, I'm living with pieces that mean the most to me, that I've collected over a long period of time. There's so much to be said um, about picking up artists early on in their career. And I was really lucky to encounter, encounter this work by Nick Goss. It's been an absolute delight for me to be able to live with the work and see Nick's career and language develop. One of the most important living female artists, Bridget Riley, who's in her 90s now, is a local girl who actually went to school in Cheltenham. And I'd love to have one of her paintings, but they, they run into the millions now. So I've got a print from the 1960s, just illustrating the fact that you can be an enormous fan of a particular artist. The painting isn't accessible to you, but the print is. This piece by Bridget Riley works beautifully and echoes the minimalism of the architecture here at the house. To summarise, living with great art gives you immense pleasure. Once you've visited the galleries, once you've read the journals, once you've met the artists, your life is going to be so much more enriched. And it's so much fun as well. Contemporary art is fun, engaging, joyous, surprising, provocative. And the more you read, the more you see, the more you're going to get out of it.